this setup is a, is a fundamental permeation cell that a uh, graduate student or group El Belugo uh, put together. Is this allows us to measure the permeability of a single gas through the polymer fill. That polymer disc is currently sandwiched between these two metal plates. So you can imagine a metal polymer metal sandwich. On this side of the membrane, we then pressurize at a constant pressure we feed in a given gas that we want to study, for example, hydrogen gas off of a pure lab bottle. This pressure sensor then just allows us to keep an eye on maintaining a steady, constant driving force. On the opposite side of the film, we've pulled vacuum down throughout this entire gas line, including this gas chamber, so that initially this is under, under a high vacuum, as driven by the pump. We then have a pressure sensor that measures the pressure in this chamber as it backfills up with hydrogen permeating across this membrane. That allows us to uh, back out what the permeability of the membrane is, given that we know the pressure on either side and the rate of pressure increase, which allows us to calculate how much gas is coming across the membrane. If we wanted to then study a different gas, for example, nitrogen, we could then clear out the system, flush it out, charge this with, again, a high pressure of nitrogen pure gas, and measure how fast this vacuum chamber fills up with nitrogen. And by comparing the two, we can get a measure of the perm selectivity of the membrane. If we want to then look at how the system would separate hydrogen from nitrogen, we can then use this mixing station, this gas mixing panel, in order to blend together uh, hydrogen and nitrogen to a set composition and maintain that at a mixture at a set pressure again, at this point. And then we're racing hydrogen and nitrogen gas through this chamber. We again measure the total permeation across the cell by measuring how fast the pressure in this, in this vacuum chamber increases. And then we can, using this port, connect this to our vacuum gas sensor tucked away in the corner here, which will also give us the compositional reading. So we can back out, out of that total gas permeation, how much of that is hydrogen versus nitrogen. And then that will allow us to study how well this membrane would work in an industrial application separating those two gases. What's nice about the mixing panel is that right now we've got five channels active and a backup box for up to another five. So if we want to start looking at more complex mixtures, uh, for example, uh, natural gas mixtures or industrial hydrogen streams, like what you'd expect on a refinery site, which have a lot of different compounds in it, then we can study those complex mixtures. And that's important from an, from an industrial application standpoint, because one of the things we want to make sure of is that this membrane works very well, not just in the lab, where it sees only what the chemist or the chemical engineering PhD student lets it see under controlled conditions, but we want to make sure that membrane will also work well when it's exposed to a bouillabaisse of different chemicals that's present in a typical industrial gas stream. What's nice about the films from uh, Dr. Grunland's group, uh, in addition to their structure which imparts high size selectivity, they also have outstanding mechanical properties. And so unlike a lot of films that are used to purify hydrogen or sequester CO2, which tend to swell under moisture, which tend to deform under CO2 pressure, because they have a, a non-rigid or soft polymer structure, these films have a very strong and, uh, and hard mechanical uh, set of properties. And what that allows us to do is run these under some moisture content, under CO2 content, without seeing any loss of perm selectivity due to swelling.